hello friends in this video i will show you how to create fragment and how to create a recycler view with grid layout in android studio and from now on i will be making videos in android studio and not on sketchware since we cannot publish sketchware apps directly to play store so let's begin here i will be creating a page like this this is the main page which contains a toolbar at the top and it contains a recycler view which is in the form of grid layout at this at the bottom okay so let's begin first we'll create the main activity in main activity it will be an app compact activity and in this this interstitial add is not required here so you can just skip this we need an on create method and in on create method we have to add this set content view r dot layout dot main this will be the layout of the main activity and this main dot xml it contains a coordinator layout at the top and this coordinator layout ends here at the end inside this coordinator layout okay for this coordinator layout the width and height is match parent and inside this there is an app bar layout in this app bar layout we have a toolbar and for this app bar layout and the toolbar the width is match parent and height is wrap content same for toolbar width and height is width is match parent and height is the attribute action bar size since this will be the action bar and we have to set id for this toolbar here I have set it to underscore toolbar same as in sketchware I have just copied it from sketchware so you can just copy it from there and then the background is color primary you can if you want to change it to any other color you can just write it here by re replacing this and app pop-up theme this is the theme of this toolbar now if you have to change this means if you have to add this line app pop-up theme you must add this line xmlns app equal to this url okay if you have added this url or this line of code here then you can use this app pop-up theme now after this app bar layout i have a linear layout and for this linear layout there is now this line of code is not necessary you can just remove it and there is the important thing is this app layout behavior this is equal to add string app bar scrolling view behavior and in order to add this line you must add this xmlns app here okay this line must be there now after this for this linear layout i have set the width and height to match parent this will be the main view of the page and inside this i have a frame layout for which the for which the width is match parent and height is wrap content now the id of this linear layout is sample main layout and id of this frame layout is sample content fragment so in main activity the content view is main.xml now we do not have to use this mobile ad so i'll just you can just skip this now this is the next line of code initialize and initialize means this method means in initialize we do the rest of the thing if you do not want to use initialize you can just replace this with the codes which are here in initialize okay you can put all this code in on create like i can just remove this initialize from here then go down copy all this thing from initialize i'll just cut this and then i can paste it here in on create so it will be the same okay you have you can put it in on create or you can put it in initialize it doesn't matter so i'll just remove this so the next line of code is toolbar so here i have defined a toolbar as find view by id underscore toolbar and i have set it as support action bar 
for this main activity set support action bar underscore toolbar and then I have this get support action bar dot set display home as app enable true and get support action bar dot set home button enable true these two line of codes are for enabling this back button at the top in the toolbar here you can see that there is this button so to add this button I have added these two lines next I have set on click listener for this toolbar underscore toolbar dot set navigation on click listener now this underscore toolbar is the underscore toolbar which is defined here and this underscore toolbar is the id of the toolbar which we created in main.xml so underscore toolbar dot set navigation on click listener equal to new view dot on click listener at override public void on click view v now inside this i have only one line of code which is on back press so whatever happens on back pressed naturally that will happen when we click this back button in the toolbar now after this i have this fragment transaction i have defined a fragment transaction called transaction by writing get support fragment manager dot begin transaction and then in next line i have defined a recycler view fragment for defining this we have to create a recycler view fragment so i have a page called recycler view fragment dot java here you can see there is recycler view fragment dot java so i have created this recycler view fragment dot java which is not an activity it is a fragment you can see public class recycler view fragment extends fragment okay so this is a fragment and we have to create this page first only then we can add this line of code recycler view fragment fragment is equal to new recycler view fragment then in transaction we have to replace the frame layout which is r dot id dot sample content fragment and we have to replace it with the fragment which is this recycler view fragment which we defined here and then we have to commit the transaction transaction dot commit now this r dot id dot sample underscore content underscore fragment this is the fragment which we have in main dot xml you can see this frame layout id is sample underscore content underscore fragment now let's go back to main dot x main dot java main activity dot java so here the on create event ends next i have on create options menu and on options item selected and on start event all these are not necessary for adding the fragment transaction on create options menu is for adding any items on the toolbar okay now i have just closed it so let's go to the next page so if we have to add this line recycler view fragment we have to define it new recycler view fragment in order to do this we must have a recycler view fragment so here i have this recycler view fragment dot java we have to create this java file and here you can see there is this recycler view fragment dot java so on this page we have an on create event and then on create view event this on create view is a view so it will return a view and this is a void so it will not return anything in on create i initialize data set means i create a list and for this i have these two lists or arrays one is a string array called m data set and one is a class array called classes and in initialize data set i have this code in initialize data set first i define classes as new class array and this contains a list of all the classes age activity dot class arv activity dot class bmi activity dot class and all these are actually the name of the pages which i have on in my app like afi activity age activity arv activity all these are java files so here since i want to move to these places when i click on these items i have put 
class and this is a list of classes now next is the string array m data set and i've defined is a defined it as new string array 16 this means there are 16 items in this string array and i have set all the items m data set 0 equal to a's calculator 1 equal to anti rabies vaccine and so on up to 15 so this means there are 16 items and all these are strings i can create it in the same way as i created this classes also but here i did it in a different way by first setting the number of items and then setting each item okay and like i said earlier you can just copy from here to here and put it in place of initialize data set here so it will because it is all in on create event so after the on create event we have this on create view event which contains the inflator layout inflator a view group container and this bundle now first we create the view of this fragment so view is we define a view called root view and this will be we use this inflator to inflate the view inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot recycle view frag recycle underscore view underscore frag comma container which is this one comma attached to root false means do not attach it to root now this recycle view fragment is an xml file which i have in this resource layout folder recycle view frag i'll just show you this recycle view fragment this is a simple xml file which contains a linear layout with width and height match parent orientation vertical and it contains a recycler view with id recycler view and width and height match parent this is how it looks like a simple recycler view inside a linear layout okay this is the recycle view frag so here i define the root view as that recycler view and i have set a tag to root view dot set tag this tag can be any string and at the top you can see that this is a string variable tag which is equal to recycler view fragment next i have defined m recycler view and this also i have declared at top recycler view m recycler view and i have defined declared a custom adapter called m adapter here i have also declared a recycler view dot layout manager as m layout manager okay and uh, only these three things so first i define m recycler view as root view which is this one which is the main view of the fragment dot find view by id recycler view so in the main view of the fragment it will find this id recycler view and that will be our recycler view now for this we have to set an adapter that adapter will tell what to display at each, pos each position in the recycler view so i have defined this m adapter as new custom adapter m data set and for this we have to define a custom adapter i just minimize this so here is the class custom adapter which is a kind of recycler view dot adapter custom adapter dot view holder this is the custom adapter this will come to this later so we have to define this custom adapter using the m data set which we which we created in initialize data set this is the m data set and we create a custom adapter using this next we set the adapter for this recycler view to m adapter then we set the layout manager to new create layout manager get activity comma span count three this means there will be three items in each row or there will be three columns in total so after this we set the layout manager for this recycler view as m recycler view dot set layout manager m layout manager and then we display it by writing return root view 
so this root view will display the fragment okay now let's go to custom adapter in which we display the items in the recycler view this is the custom adapter which extends recycler view dot adapter custom adapter dot view holder in this custom adapter first we here i have a different string variable tag called custom adapter and i have a different string array called m data set this m data set is different from the original m data set which contains s in small letters and this contains s in capital letters so the first event which i like to show is the constructor for this custom adapter which is public custom adapter string array data set m data set is equal to data set so here i set this string array m data set this is the string array m data set i set it to the data set which is the string array which is there in the constructor so here in constructor you can say that there is string array called data set and this will be the same data set will be equal to that and you can see i have used this constructor in on create view this is the on create view and you can see here the constructor new custom adapter m data set okay this is the string array and this is a custom adapter so this is the constructor which i have used next method is on view holder on create view holder public view holder on create view holder in this we have a view group and view type and here i define the view of each item view v is equal to layout inflator dot from view group dot get context dot inflate r dot layout dot text row item comma view group comma attached to root false so here this is the view group and this is the view of each item for this we have to create this text row item dot xml and in this text row item dot xml i have a frame layout with width match parent and height wrap content and padding 8 dp gravity center vertical and inside this i have a text view for which the id is text view width match parent height 134 dp background is light green gravity center horizontal and center vertical padding 6 dp text color is black textile bold and text size 14 sp so this will be the item which contains a frame layout inside this text view now after this i return this view as the view holder so this will be our view holder which contains this view of text row item from this we have to get the text view so for this we go to the next event which is public class view holder public class view holder it extends recycler view dot view holder and in this i define i declare a text view called text view and it contains this method public view holder view v super v and here this view v will be the view of the item the complete text row item which you see here so i have an on click listener for that p dot set on click listener at override public void on click and inside this i use intent to move to the activity corresponding to that item that item so here i set the class to classes and position which i get using this code get adapter position you can get the position using this single line get adapter position okay and then i start activity i so this will take me to the activity on which i clicked and then i close this on click listener after that i define text view which i have declared in this view holder only i define this text view as text view v dot find view by id r dot id dot text view so from this view holder 
it will find this id text view and that will be our text view then i have one more method in this view holder which is get text view and this get text view will return the text view so if i have to get this text view anywhere i can use this code get text view i can apply this get text view on the main view so next event is on bind view holder in on bind view holder from the view holder i get the text view and i set the text of that text view to m data set position this will display the item from m data set in the text view and then the last method is get item count which returns m data set dot length and that's all in on custom that's all in custom adapter okay and that's all is required for creating this fragment layout containing a recycler view with grid layout i have already shown you how it looks like uh, i'll just show you once again okay so here you can see there is a toolbar at the top and then it contains this grid layout which is a part of recycler view now if you want to make it a linear layout like a list view then you have to change the change just one line of code instead of writing new instead of defining this m layout manager as new grid layout manager get activities can span count three you can make it new linear layout manager so here I will write it, it new linear layout manager get activity and I will remove this three the span count. So this is the linear layout manager and when I run this it will be in the form of a linear layout just it is compiling now and terminate this yeah now you can see that now it is in the form of a linear layout okay item one at top of another and you can make it a grid layout with uh, different number of items different number of items in each row like i can make it two items in each row by writing this here grid layout measure get activity comma span count 2 so this is how it will look like so that's all in this video thank you very much for watching this all the codes are available at link in description. Thank you very much.